All right. So a lot of you guys asked on the last video, how do we add glycol to a snow melt system? And I am gonna tell you right now. I have my Milwaukee M18 transfer pump. I got five gallon bucket of glycol and I got hoses connected to the pump from the bucket to our system. We drained it, we calculated how much water was in here, we followed directions on the can. All right, so we're gonna pump it up full of, full, full of water, sorry, full of glycol. Then we're gonna add the right amount of water and then using a portable refractometer, we are gonna see what the percentage of glycol is in the system. Now, if any of you guys have any saltwater fish tanks, you guys are very familiar with this. You could test salinity levels with one that's made for that. In this particular case, this is gonna test the amount of glycol I have in the system. And it's very, very easy to use, right? Now, I did drain some. We got a little, little probe there. I'm gonna take some water out of there, like that. Only too much, but it's a little bit. Kelvin's gonna hold the phone. And I'm gonna take just a couple drops and put it on the side glass and then close the side glass window. Now I'm gonna bring this outside to the sun. That way I can look through it and it's gonna tell me how much glycol. Let me see if I can show you guys. If you guys could see this, uh, let's see. It's kind of hard to see, but sorry, I tried. But you'll be able to see how much glycol is in the system. And in this particular case, we have, I gotta bring it out so I can't see. But we do need more though. We're around five right now. And we need to bring it up to about eh, 25. So that's how you do it with a portable refractometer. We're gonna finish that bucket and then I'll bring the refractometer outside and I'll try to get you some shots of that. But that's how you add glycol to a hydronic system, whether it's a snow melt system or a hydronic heating system where you have pipes that could be in, in uh, you know, unconditioned spaces where it could freeze. You definitely want to add glycol to the system. All right, outside, I got a sample of system water. I got my refractometer. And by the way, these aren't that expensive. You could pick one up for probably around, you know, 40 bucks. And I'm gonna take a, actually I have a, a little squeezer thing right there. The antifreeze or glycol that I added is blue. And that's why you notice the tint of blue to the water. I'm just gonna take a drop right there. We're gonna close the sight glass window. And I'm gonna learn to look through it. And unfortunately you're not gonna be able to see, but I am right around 1.27 ish. Very hard to see in there, but sorry. You're not gonna be able to see it. I'm sorry guys, but there's basically like a, uh, like a couple charts in there. And on the left hand side, it's got a number reading and you put it up to the light and you take a reading of how much glycol is in the system. And again, you want to follow the manufacturer's recommendations and specifications of what you need, but that's how you do it. I think I got this one off Amazon somewhere. But that's how you add glycol to a hydronic system. Any questions, drop them down in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching.